How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today we're going to be going over my best Colossus build. This is the build that I pretty much use for GM2 and above. GM1 there are slight changes and I'll go over those as well but for the most part if you are going to play GM2 you're a Colossus this is the build you want to go for. There is a couple of tweaks you can make but I don't have those items yet and when I do I'll update this build and try it out and see how it works. I'll also mention it as I'm going along, but for the purpose of this video, this is my ultimate build for Colossus, as of right now, from what I have available. So when we look at the weapons, I'm using Ralmer's Blaze and Divine Vengeance. Now Divine Vengeance is my go-to weapon. It is amazing. Its perk reads every third weak point hit causes large fire explosions. Now this doesn't prime, but it does a hell of a lot of damage. So after you've primed the target, you've detonated, and you can't prime for a set period, just use this and blow the living crap out of stuff. It's really, really good. Rolnar's Blaze is amazing for stuff that's in the distance. All you need to do is land five hits, and you put a fire debuff on it. So not only is it taking damage over time by the burn, but you can detonate it from a far distance. Win-win situation here. So you've got a weapon that can prime. You've got a weapon that can explode. These two weapons are my go-to weapon. Now the Siege Cannon here, the Masterworks version of the Siege Cannon, is also a nice alternative. It's an auto cannon, but I don't have this. The benefit of this is that it puts an acid prime on the target. Acid Prime is going to be better than Fire, simply because it gives it a defense down, which means you actually do more damage. So if you do have that, replace that for Realmer's Blaze. Otherwise, any combination of those three weapons is pretty damn cool. Right, that's the weapons out of the way, let's move on. Next we have the Heavy Assault Launcher. Now the best item for this is the best defense. Now I know a lot of people are going to go with a Flamethrower or the Venom Spit. The Venom Spit is really nice for other builds, especially with the 200% combo. But if you're looking for the ultimate tank build, the ultimate Colossus build, best defense is your best friend. Now why do I say this? Simple. The perk, hitting an enemy with a rocket restores 35% armor. Now what this doesn't tell you is that if you hit two enemies, that's 70%. If you hit three enemies, that's 105%. If you hit a brick wall, that is 35%. Yes, you heard that right. Literally hitting anything, even a brick wall, will restore 35% armor. You have no idea how valuable this is, considering it's also a combo Remember I was telling you for ranged attacks I could use my other gun that could either apply fire or if I had the auto cannon I could apply acid? Well this is the one that actually works extremely well with it. This is a perfect synergy because it's ranged but it also allows me in a pickle to just fire at anything and restore 35% armor. This is a solid solid choice and for me it's the best choice hence it's the best defense. I mean, it works, right? And it's really, really good. I was using the rail, but once I met this, there was no going back. When it comes to support, you can use Shield Pulse or Battlecry. It really doesn't matter. It's a preference thing. One of them gives you more shield, whereas the other one, whereas the other one debuffs them and reduces their resistance by 33%. You'll be defensively on one, attacking on the other. I personally go with Shield Pulse, I think that's more beneficial to me and my team, especially at the higher difficulties. 33% more defense is definitely a lot more useful to me than 33% damage reduction on a select number of enemies. But this is a preferential choice piece, it's up to you how you want to go about this. But for me, Shield Pulse all the way. Next we talk about components, we have Grand Entrance. This one upon hard landing creates an explosion at the point of impact. Now this is pretty awesome because I do like to jump down, especially when I'm flying or in midair or just when I'm running at stuff and jumping, it goes so well with Demolition Tribute because Demolition Tribute gives you 20% health back on kills. Well, this one upon landing makes a shock so it gives everything around you in that small vicinity an additional AoE damage. So this is extremely useful and one that you should definitely want to take. This is a must for a Colossus. 
Additionally, it increases the duration of your support ability. Whether you want it to go defensive with Shield Pulse or offensive with Battlecry, it increases that effectiveness by 50%. So this one is a must. The next one is Catalytic Overdrive. Not only does it increase your damage combo by 50%, instantly making it a guaranteed must item, detonating a combo increases ability damage by 40% for 20 seconds. Again, this is pretty damn awesome and it increases your DPS when you need it. If you've got a cool inscription like the one I have here, which increases your ultimate speed by 23%, that's even better, right? Next, I've gone for Ablative Shielding. Heavily reinforces the Colossus' armor and shields. A shield break increases damage resistance by 25% for 5 seconds. Now, why is this good? Not only has it got higher armor and high shield, but when it breaks which it will do in GM2, make no mistake, you will have your shield breaking. But when it does break, you get that instant 25% defense boost to keep you in the game. At that point, you can turn round and with your best defense, fire off a shot and get 35% health back instantly. If you're around enemies, quickly jumping, grand entrance with demolition tribute. If the enemies are half health, they're dead. Instant 20% health back. That's 55% back instantly. You just can't go wrong with this combo, right? So they synergize so well. So this one is in that tight situation where you basically need the extra defense, the extra resistance in order to survive because your shield has just gone down. Just don't use it against a legendary Titan. Once it opens its chest and fires at you, there is nothing going to save you with that. But for everything else, this has a really high chance of keeping you in the game and alive, especially when you pair it up with the Shield Pulse, it's just win-win. 33% from Shield Pulse, 25% from this, that's 58% on its own. Can't go wrong. Reinforced Hull is another really good one. Increases magazine capacity of all weapons by 5%, which I honestly don't care about. At all. Like, none. But, it is a legendary piece, which means the armor I get from it is 5,000 more, the shield I get from it is 2000 more so it instantly becomes a valuable choice for me just on those two variants alone as a colossus i'm a tank i like to absorb damage so this is really good but what's even better is the perk when effect is cleared and by effect fire effect acid shock freeze those effects damage is increased by 20 percent and can only occur once every 10 seconds so this is really awesome because there'll be a lot of stuff that will debuff you in the game. So despite the fact that my primary use of this is the health and the armor bonus, the simple fact is because I'm constantly getting put on fire or having the acid effect or being frozen every so often, the moment I come out of that, I've got 20% additional damage. Now, if I pair that with catalytic overdrive, which gives me 40%, that's 60% instantly right there. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Despite the fact that I'm using it for one purpose, the synergy it's capable of working with other components is there to make it a worthwhile and worthy inclusion in this build. Now, this component here, Emblem of Destruction, is the one that I can switch out. If I'm in GM1 or below, then I will go with Thermal Thrust because my Thermal Thrust gives me a total of about 35% combo damage. But it's only got 149 armor and shield, so it's really, really bad in that regard. It's an absolute no-no when it comes to GM2. But if you're playing on anything that's GM1 and below, you honestly can't go down in those difficulties. It's going to take a lot to kill you. So that on its own is good enough and will keep you in the game. However, from GM2 onwards, Emblem of Destruction is the way to go. For two reasons. Number one, the armor and shield bonus is a lot higher than Thermal Thrust. That's a given. So that's really, really nice. But the perk itself increases all blast damage by 15%. The blast damage from this, like you get from best defense, is increasing by 15%. So you've actually got items here that can benefit from this. If you're using a grenade launcher, the blast from the grenade launcher will increase by 15%. Divine Vengeance the explosion effect that you get is a blast effect, so this will also benefit from the 15%. So this works in pretty much all of your things. So if you don't want to go for that 35% combo and sacrifice all this health, this is the one to go for. And the actual perk, performing a multi-kill 
at least five enemies with your ultimate will increase ultimate charge by 3300%. Now this sounds crazy, right? But if you go into a dungeon or if you go into Tyrant Mine at the end and you see the amount of mobs there, you can pretty much fire this for days. Every time you kill an enemy with five or more, you pretty much get a quarter of your charge back. And you can continuously do this. There's no limit to how many times you can do this. Your only restriction is the number of mobs that's present. So once the mobs run out, your super runs out. But if you have an infinite supply of mobs, then this can never ever run out. It's a pretty nice skill and has been really, really useful at times. It is a niche skill, but honestly, the 15% makes up for the lack of perk and the armor and shield make up for the lack of effective perk. But even then, the perk here is still valuable and it still has a niche role. It's a unique specialized role, but when it comes into effect and when it activates, you're going to love it. So this is why this is here for GM2. For GM1, if you don't want to have this, you can go with Thermal Thrust with DPS perks. But for GM2, I highly advise Emblem of Destruction. There are a lot of mobs in GM2 when you come into encounters. So using your super here and killing them and having it recharge and killing them and having it recharge is a really nice feeling. Finally, Demolition Tribute increases Colossus shield damage while sprinting by 300%. This is why you see me running into enemies with my shield. It's fun! Just doesn't kill him in GM2. But defeating an enemy with melee instantly grants 20% armor. This is something you want. No matter what, this is one of those pieces that's paramount. Because if an enemy's got low health, you want to melee it and get that 20% armor because it will save you. Believe me, this has helped me so much. Jumping in and landing triggering Grand Entrance and Demolition Tribute is fantastic. So believe you and me, this is one perk that you need to have on. End of story. Every Colossus should have this. I would like that 20% increase a little bit more, maybe 25, 30%, but that's just me being greedy now. And finally, for the Ordinance Launcher, Voltaic Dome. This to me is a must have ability. I know people like to go flamethrower and coil, and though that combination is okay, it doesn't really synergize well, especially if you're playing with like a Storm who's constantly throwing out Frost Shards, and then you're throwing out your flamethrower and unfreezing all their stuff. It's a real pain, and, it's, and it honestly pisses people off. And plus, you know what? It's not as effective as this. You can easily use this. It shocks them with lightning, and then freezes them. Its intrinsic perk is enemies are frozen once hit. This is a primer as well. So unlike the assault launcher, which is a detonator, you've got your fist, which is a detonator. You've got your ultimate, which is a detonator. This is your tried and tested primer. You can just run into a crowd, pop it, and everything around you will trigger. Melee that, combo with everything, get your super back within 30 40 seconds if you repeat this multiple times and then just let rip this is literally a number one ulti builder it's great and it is a really nice cc it's a really amazing item and honestly there is nothing that the colossus can have that will surpass this one ability this is king well guys that's pretty much my build now what i'm gonna do here is let the video play out and you lot can see my build playing in action I'll leave it playing for a few minutes so it doesn't go on too long. But honestly, this is the build that you want. Try to replicate this build. Go out there and try it out. If you're suffering from low health, melee something to death. Get your 20% armor back. If you defeat two or three enemies, you get 40% back, 60% back. Use your best defense, 35% instant health back. Shield pulse makes you 33% stronger. Ablative shielding. Gives you 25% instant resistance once your shield goes down. This build is designed to keep you alive. And you will stay alive while dealing extremely good damage, extremely good combo, and you're self-reliant for everything. You can keep yourself alive by shooting a brick wall and keeping your health up by 35%. If there's enemies there on low health or multiple, just run in, jump, hit. You've not only got the ground stomp to stagger them, but you've got your melee to give you that 20% per kill back. It's a really, really solid build. It's a really, really nice build. And in my opinion, for Colossus, this is the number one go-to build. The only thing I would change here, potentially, 
is the weapon and I'd like to use the auto cannon with acid but I don't have it and because I don't I use flame instead. That aside I only use the flame for ranged stuff, for close range stuff I use divine vengeance all the way because that is just absolutely my go to weapon because I absolutely love that weapon. It's the best weapon in the game as far as I'm concerned when it comes to close range. It is just deadly. Right guys, that's me for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this build video. It's pretty damn awesome. It's my go-to build. I'm hoping to farm a few more legendary items for this Voltaic Dome and a couple of others to get this build at the highest point possible. And when I do, I'll make another video and show you how devastatingly dangerous and crazy this build actually can be. But until then, go out, try this out, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. This build is amazing, I love it, and it is my go-to build right now on Colossus. And if you're wondering, or if you're stuck, or if you're looking for that one build that will keep you alive, keep you in the fight, keep you going, even when the count is down, you're low on health, you're looking around, everything's coming at you, you can still stay in the fight. Pop Shield Pulse, pop Best Defense, instantly 33% defense, instantly 35% health back, then go in, instantly CC everything with Voltaic Dome, combo everything, hopefully you'll kill a couple, that's 20-40% instantly back, you've already got 35% back there, 40% back there, 70% of your health is already returned, you can't go wrong with this. Right guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think, let me know if you've tried it, how it's worked out for you, and until the next video, you know the drill, remain legend.